Keith. Keith. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal God, creator and preserver of life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon this man and this woman, whom you have made one flesh in holy matrimony. Grant that their wills be so knit together in your will, and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to this sinful and broken world. Give them such fulfillment and mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Holy Spirit, heavenly dove, Father God, as the authority that you have placed in me, and this anointing that destroys every yoke. God, I do as you said, that we shall lay hands on them. Now, Father, I lay hands on this man, this husband, and I command that he keep these scriptures in his heart. I command that he understands headship and that he understands that he's the head of this house now. I command that he walk with authority and that he take total dominion of everything that God has placed in his power. Father God, I bind up every spirit. I bind up every word of gossip. I bind up every word of envy. I bind up every word of strife. I bind up every word that try to enter his spirit that's not from you, God and I cast it into the pits of hell. I bind up all his homeboys who will come by and try to influence him to do wrong. I bind it up now in the name of Jesus. And I release the presence of the Holy Spirit to abide in his life, uh, that he would obey you, God, and not some man, oh God, but he will hear the voice of you, Father. Speak, Holy Spirit, heavenly dove. Penetrate his heart, penetrate his soul, and penetrate his spirit and let all of his words be your words and let him take the mind of Christ a mind to go forward into these things and Father God I lay hands on this woman of God this chosen vessel that you chose while she was yet in her mother's womb Father God I pray now that she hide herself within her husband and God I pray that this husband live a life that she can serve you through him Father God, let her stay in a position of prayer and intercession for her husband and her whole household, oh God. Let her be the kind of woman that makes sure that her husband is well thought about and well spoken about in the neighborhood. Heavenly Father, I pray for her right now that you continue to saturate her, that you continue to anoint her, that when the time is right, she will begin to preach this gospel with more power, with power from on high, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I release this apostolic anointing on her life right now that when she steps into her position as minister, oh God, she will not forget that her husband, oh God, is there to be her head. In Jesus' name, I speak it over her life right now. And I declare, according to the Holy Ghost, that no weapon formed against her shall prosper. That no weapon formed against her shall prosper that no weapon formed against her shall prosper that her body is healed in the name of Jesus I speak healing over her body right now everything that the enemy has tried to do unto her I cast it out now in the name of Jesus and I declare healing in Jesus name and that these two together are more than conquerors and even this too 
shall pass. In Jesus' name. Well, they love the Lord, Satan.